This week on Around the Way, Savannah J caught up with On Don Native and Grammy Award winner Charlton Singleton, the new artistic director of this year's Moja Arts Festival, to talk about the celebrations coming up later this month. Good morning and welcome to Around the Way. I am Savannah J and my guest today is Charlton Singleton, Grammy Award winner, the best trumpet player in the world. Uh, yes, thank you. I said it. Thank I you. said it. How does it feel to be a Grammy Award winner? Uh, it's a blessing and it's yes. still um, a shock in some ways, yes. but uh, definitely a blessing. Uh, mm -hmm. Something that um, you dream of. Mm -hmm. You know, I was that little kid watching the Grammys on television. Yes. And, taping it with our VCR, you know, for, <laughs> VCR. for anybody that still remembers a VCR. <laughs> okay. Uh, taping it and watching the playback right. and, you know, sitting there and imagining myself saying, you know, I'd like to thank. Mm -hmm. And then it happened. It became a reality. So it's just a blessing. Your, your mom and dad, they're your biggest fans. You Absolutely. Know that, you know that, right? Absolutely. Okay, they, they video, well, they had a viewing party. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. My sister uh, <laughs> set it up so that they could watch. And they invited a bunch of people, a bunch Beautiful. of other family, and uh, they all went bonkers. And my father screamed at the television and said, just don't <laughs> cry on TV. You know, mm -hmm. so, I love you know. it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, but they're, love it. they are our biggest fans. Well, Absolutely. you know, you're a big, you are a fan of mine. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, I am a fan of yours. And likewise. Yes, yes that's what I meant to say. But um, I heard you taking another part in Moja now. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. In uh, March of 2023. Yeah. Uh, Mayor John Tecklenburg, yes. and along with uh, uh, members of city council, they yeah. appointed me as the new artistic director of Beautiful. the Moja Arts Festival. Beautiful. Yes. So yes. Uh, when does it begin? Moja actually starts this year on September 28th okay. and runs through uh, October 8th. Okay. Uh, it starts off with a wonderful uh, parade that we have going mm -hmm. uh, uh, through downtown Charleston. Okay. It ends at... Um, at the Custom House, mm -hmm. where traditionally we have a big, huge celebration there to kick off the event yes. uh, or the, the festival. Yes. Um, opening weekend is going to be tremendous. Mm. We've got uh, a number of fantastic uh, groups and, and uh, exhibits and mm -hmm. um, just a whole bunch of things planned this year. Um, we've got a, a group from um, Barbados coming. Wow, uh, wow. They are going to be doing uh, the first uh, stateside presentation of a great play uh, called Yankee Bayesian. Yankee Bayesian. Yes, wow. yes. Well, there's definitely a connection. Yeah, the Barbados and it, South Carolina. Is, and, right. and Charleston. Yes, yeah, right. there's definitely mm -hmm. a huge right. connection. Right. You know, so uh, we've got that. Um, we've got uh, a beautiful um, husband and wife duo uh, singing group called The War and Treaty. I've seen them before. Yes, yes. yes. A lot of people might know of uh, Tanya. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she was actually in um, Sister Act. That's where I saw her. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, she she sort of did that little duet with Lauren Hill. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, but they're a wonderful group, right. world famous. Uh, they'll be here uh, at the Music Farm uh, in that opening weekend time. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, The Color of Music. Mm. Uh, Lee Pringle presents The Color of Music. Um, okay. It's more of a... Uh, um, black classical musicians and, and, and composers that are presented. That'll be at the Dock Street Theater. Okay. Um, Kiana Parlor and oh, myself. Oh, Kiana, yes. Yes. Give we'll it be, up to Kiana. We'll be presenting Talented. again. We're going to be doing the music of New Jack Swing. What? And for people that don't know what New Jack Swing, oh, I, oh, know. I know you I know. know you know, I know, honey. Yes. yes. Okay. But uh, <laughs> if you think about New Jack Swing, mm -hmm. uh, some of the names that come along, uh, yes. first of all, that time period of mm -hmm. mid to late 80s, yes. you know, so you've got your uh, groups like Guy and... Um, you know, producers like uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry yeah, Lewis. Yeah, Terry Lewis, beautiful. You know, um, Janet you know, Jackson. Janet Jackson, yes, yes. you know, Teddy Riley, oh, of Teddy. course. You is, know, he's South Carolina, yes, right? His family's from there. That's okay, right, that's right. right. South Carolina's deep. Yeah, deep with yeah. Grammy Award winners. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly. Then. And then um, we wrap it up on. Um, on October 8th with a, a performance, big, huge celebration in okay. Hampton Park. That's going to be beautiful. So how do we get more information about Moja? You can follow us on our socials. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, mojafestival.com that's mm -hmm. m-o-j-a festival.com okay and um, all of that information about getting tickets or securing your tickets um, who's going to be playing where mm -hmm. all of the times um, and um, it's not just music uh, we have uh, visual art we have uh, theater we have poetry uh, wow. there's culinary okay. um, there's a whole bunch Ooh, of things. culinary I love food honey yes so are yes. we going to have a lot of local talent also involved absolutely okay. absolutely uh, there's another event um, be 
being that this is the 50th year uh, wow. in celebration of, uh, of hip hop music, yes, we yes. have an event, uh, the Queens of Hip Hop, that yeah. are gonna be pre presented by some local uh, dynamic uh, women um, hip hop artists and musicians. Um, it's gonna be um, actually in the middle of the street. It's, so we're gonna block off a street and, and, and tear it up. You have know. you decided where you're gonna have it at? Uh, I believe it's gonna be around where the visitor center is. Oh, we're still working on, on that, but uh, there again, go to the website okay. um, and just keep up with us on that and our socials and things. Okay. Absolutely. I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. So, um, Miss Elise Amos Goodwin. Yes. Yes. You must say hello to her. Yes. 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 So, uh, I know she's proud of you. Yes. 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 Uh, I've known um, I've known Elise for a number of years. Yes. Um, she has um, really um, kept the festival going for a number of years. Yes. You know, a lot of people don't understand the the how Moja has been around for so no, long. No, they don't. They don't. Yeah. You know, actually, Moja uh, has its roots back as far as 1979. Yeah, mm -hmm. ooh, 79. Wow. 79. Okay, it, was act it was actually, um, it was called something different. Okay. Um, it was a Black Arts Festival. Oh, you know, wonderful. If you okay. And um, uh, it switched over to Moja around 1984. Wow. But we've been around for, you know, over 40 years. And we're going to stay, stay, stay around, Oh, right? definitely. So give me that site where they can get more info at again. That's www.mojafestival.com. One more time. www.mojafestival.com. <laughs> Com. Well, I'm Savannah J with Around the Way, and hey, thank you. And as they were saying, the Moja Arts Festival is an annual celebration of black arts and culture featuring visual arts, music, food, dance, poetry, theater, storytelling, traditional crafts, and family activities. The festival will kick off on the 28th with an opening day street parade from Marion Square down King Street and then Market Street and then the U.S. Custom House at 6 p.m. You can find out more and check out the full schedule of events for the celebration on their website, mojafestival.com. Again, their website is mojafestival.com. Lots of events.